The Curra Column Kill was launched in 1997. It was part of a community project to row in the wake of St Columbus, also known as Column Kill, from Loch Foyle to the Scottish island of Iona. And the Curra is still maintained, looked after and used by the Causeway Coast Maritime Heritage Group, who did a big refurbishment last year with a new skin. And the boats spent the summer on a mooring in Rathlin Island. So at the start of October, it was time to bring the boat back over to Bally Castle, get her out of the water and onto her new trailer. We got together a crew comprising people from Rathlin, people from Bally Castle on the North Antrim coast and friends from Belfast who row the Lag and Curra. And this is how we got on. We assembled on Rathlin early in the morning. We had a plan that we would go out at the end of the ebb tide so that we would be in the middle of the sound at slack water. and We hoped that would be the safest and the smoothest crossing. But it didn't quite work out that way. We used the outboard to get out of the harbour because there's a commercial ferry operating, so please don't judge, we were doing our best. Once we were out at the Drake Buoy, we cut the engine, the skipper gave us a briefing, and we started to row. After almost two hours, we just weren't making the progress we'd wanted to, but we were getting tired. So we stopped, we rested, and refueled the crew and jelly babies. <laughs> Look at that. Refueling never looks so good. Our support vessel, Curly, dropped by to make sure we were okay, which we were. Charlie, look at you, looking great. Oh, yeah. Same about the boat. <laughs> and then it was back on the oars. Fast forward another hour, and we were finally getting into Bally Castle. What a relief! In fact, we were so happy we started pulling donuts in the harbour. We did eventually settle down and tie up at the quayside because it was time to get the boat out and onto the trailer. It's 10 from here to Rathlin Harbour, so... Yeah, <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Through the magic of editing, you don't have to sit through the next two hours as we got the boat on the trailer, then had to take her off again to adjust the trailer to make sure she was properly supported, but totally worth it to make sure she doesn't come to any harm over the winter. And once we got her out, we found out why the journey had been so slow, why we could only do two knots. It was because of the heavy growth of sea squirts and weed on the bottom. Yet another thing that we're going to have to add to the job list. <laughs> 